The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao announces that focused economic policies have begun to tame inflation from a three-year high of 6.5 to 6.2 in August 2011, as he also encouraged banks to make affordable loans available to small businesses, saying that entrepreneurs play an important role in creating jobs and improving the nation's economy. The French government withdraws permits for shale rock gas drilling in southern France, with President Nicolas Sarkozy reaffirming a pledge that any such exploitation would be avoided to preserve the natural balance and beauty of the region. Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak announces the freeing of 125 persons who had been detained as part of the country's Restricted Residence Act, which limits where people can live, as he also introduces a motion to repeal the law. Billionaire entrepreneur and philanthropist Mr. George Soros donates an additional 27 million U.S. dollars as part of his support for the Millennium Villages Project, which serves half a million rural residents throughout 10 African countries in helping them attain United Nations development goals. For his caring generosity, Supreme Master Ching Hai is honoring Mr. Soros with the Shining World Compassion Award. U.S. Hollywood actor and environmentalist Leonardo DiCaprio joins International Fund for Animal Welfare, or IFAW, in a campaign to raise awareness about the endangerment of African and Asian elephants due to ivory poaching, in the hope of inspiring especially young activists toward their protection. The 6th World Amazigh Congress is held for the first time in Tunisia, with representatives attending from many countries in the region to celebrate and support the development and cultural integrity of the indigenous North African people. 